remember Alan Wicker joining Granada, but it was just as I was leaving. So my knowledge of Alan Wicker is is really very much from watching his films. And I do remember vividly the um, Duvalier film. And I thought, this is a ballsy guy. <laughs> you know, this is not Richard Dimbleby. <laughs> there was a sort of steel in the man's soul, you know. He was in some ways a straight Englishman, very straight, but at the same time, obviously, had enormous um, uh, inquisitiveness, and he also had courage, actually. You know, he, was, he, wouldn't, he wasn't flinching about the world. Uh, along with the inquisitiveness, I suppose he had a real sense of responsibility to audience. I think that's why people cared for him. They really trusted him and they, they uh, you know, they loved his work. I think the challenge, the main challenge which faces all filmmakers, docu documentary filmmakers, is, is that the conventional television um, audience is shrinking at an alarming rate, at least for people who work in television it is. And the most successful uh, media companies now, in this area anyway, of, of documentary and so on, are, are companies like uh, uh, Vice, which have claim to have 300 million viewers uh, around the world, you know, which, um, and of course that's on the internet, via the internet, and most of their work is 20 minutes long, you know, it's, it's it, the, the whole business of attention span, of the means of, of reproduction that people connect to, um, those are the challenges. Generally, you know, we have to think of different ways and different lengths and different, but that's good. BBC Three is, you know, going on the internet and they're going to have to all these different lengths. I mean, that's the Patrick Holland is, you know, 20 minute films, whatever, whatever length. My immediate reaction was, what a wonderful opportunity for my students. Uh, and because that's some serious money. £80,000 can make for a young filmmaker, I mean, a film. There are so few opportunities to get that kind of money. I mean, there's just really few. I mean, you're not going to get that from Vice, frankly. And I think uh, Mr. Wicker should be in, very, very proud that he's done this because I think it's of enormous value. You know, he made a bit of money, and I, it's perfectly in sync, the idea that he would then endow a, um, you know, the future. He'd give something to the future. I think that's per perfectly indicative of, the, of what I know of the man. <laughs>